forward to the left. Perfect. Hi, Daddy. Uh, Kyle? Oh, hey, Pop H. You want to be next? <laughs> Off. You know what? Better split. Good idea. Yeah, but before I go, how about a little sugar? <laughs> Here's a candy bar. Hey, I was eating that. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, you know what? I was thinking, why don't we all go out for a pizza and a movie as a family? Why are you punishing us? <laughs> Sounds great. You know, I like it when we hang out like a real family. Wow. Sarcasm with a smile. We're used to it with a sneer. Isn't that right, Paul? Well, honey, we're not used to the let's all hang out as a family, Carrie. We're more used to the my life sucks, Carrie. Oh, she's just in a good mood because boy asked her out today. Oh, oh really? Who? His name is Jason. Ooh, Jason, Jason. Are you going to kiss him? <laughs> he's so cute and he's really smart and he wants to go out next weekend. So? Oh, Carrie, I I'm really happy this Jason asked you out, but... You know the rules. Bridget had to wait till she was old enough, and so do you. Do you really think in six months I'll be better prepared to date? No, but I'll be better prepared. <laughs> oh, my life sucks! Now that's the Carrie we know! Having fun, Care Bear? Drop dead. I hate you. You had me at drop dead. So what would it be? I heard this Robert Redford movie's good. Oh, please. Robert Redford is such a Brad Pitt ripoff. <laughs> How about that new movie, Go, Go, Go? It's about really fast cars and girls who like guys who drive them. Is that Kyle taking tickets? Please, my boyfriend does not work at a movie theater. Welcome to Montrose Theaters. Oh, my God. My boyfriend works at a movie theater. This is so lame. Why would he tell me? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he had the crazy idea you would judge him? <sighs> Loser. Now, Bridget, come on, all work is noble. Are you go right through there? Look at this little bow tie. <laughs> I cannot date someone who works at the multiplex. Why can't he work somewhere cooler? I don't know, like at a music store or a bookstore. Carrie, being serious here. I gotta go. I'll be at the food. Bridget! I should make sure she's okay. Carrie, come on, guys, it's family movie night. You can't leave. Well, now at least we can see this Redford movie. Come on. Actually, that one just sold out. The only other movie left is. Go, go, go. Drink, please. <laughs> was totally flirting with me. At first I was like, uh-uh, but then I realized he was kind of cute, so I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> Who's Parker? This really cool senior. We were both waiting in line at the Pennsylvania Pretzel Company, and he started talking to me. And then he asked me out. I couldn't believe it. I mean, he works at Banana. <laughs> and that's cool, working at Banana? Uh, yeah. Well, what about Kyle? Please, Dad, he's a movie usher. You gotta do better than that if you want to hang with this. <laughs> Could you never do that again? I don't believe it. You won't let me go out with some guy I really like, but you let Bridget go out with some random pretzel guy? He's not some random pretzel guy. He works at Banana. <laughs> This is the most unfair thing ever. Why don't you just lock me in my room? Your mother won't let me. You know, it's only one date, and, and she's so excited. Maybe we should bend the rules just a little bit. Do you know what happens when you bend the rules? They're not rules anymore. They're just bent things. <laughs> you know, I would have said that differently, but you're the writer. My point is, dating is complicated and emotionally charged. Carrie is such a sensitive girl, I don't want to see her get hurt. She is more mature and responsible than Bridget was at her age. I think she deserves a chance. OK, I'll think about it. Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to a mom. <laughs> OK, I'm off to pick up Parker. Wait, you're picking him up? Back in my day, it was customary for the boy to pick up the girl on a first date. Back in your day, women wore corsets and bustiers. <laughs> no, they didn't. Really? Then how come mom has one? No, no, no she doesn't. <laughs> Anyways, if Kyle calls, tell him I have a headache and I can't come to the phone. You haven't told Kyle about Parker, Bridget? Oh, I can't tell Kyle. He's my safety net. Wait, no, I'm not lying for you. What's a safety net? Well, you know, in case it doesn't work out with Parker. Which is totally wrong. <laughs> Did you have any safety nets? That must be Jason. I'll get it, I'll get it. A father only has a few chances to put the fear of God into a daughter's boyfriend. This is one of them. Uh, okay, just be nice. I'm always nice. Now beat it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jason, Carrie's friend. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry, it's an old habit from my days in the Corps. Peace Corps? You wish. So, uh, Mr. Hennessy. Please, Colonel. Come on in. Sit down. Nice. Ah. So I see you went to Michigan. Think their hoop team has a chance this year? You don't really like basketball, do you, Jason? No, sir. Let's cut to the chase. Scooch. Now, uh, you're a teenager with raging hormones. I'm a father with a raging temper. 
If your hormones get into the ring with my temper, they will lose. You understand? Yes, sir. Hormones, temper, lose every time. Look, Colonel Hennessy, um, I'm not after anything. All I want is for Carrie to like me as much as I like her. Oh, well said. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get out of here. You kids have fun, but uh, no pulling over and parking somewhere. Dad! <laughs> no, sir, I mean, not with my mom driving us. Hi there! Shut up. <laughs> what? I just want to know how your date with Jason went. Oh, it's fine. Good. Did you have to kiss Jason's mom goodnight, too? <laughs> So how'd it go, honey? Oh, he's so awesome. We had such a great time. Thank you so much for letting me go. Oh, my pleasure, Care Bear. I knew you were ready to date. You know, you are so much cooler than Dad. <laughs> well, it's not a competition. <laughs> but if it was, I'd win. <laughs> so how'd it go last night? It's okay. Hello? Is that Jason? Could be. Does Jason have a thick accent and need to talk to Rodolfo? <laughs> okay, no one in this house. Get on the phone. Hey, Dad. Where are you going, Bridget? Oh, Kyle's taking a shot. Listen, if you asked where I was last night, do not mention I'm out of the park, okay? Tell him I was over at Manny's watching Bring It On the Moon tomorrow's for pizza. Wait, wait. I should make that the make up the smoothie shack for a fro yo and wait, I don't like Bring It On, it's so wrong. How about Dooper's my car? No! I'm not lying for you. Is mom here? Wait, but she's not lying either. Bridget, you know, this is you gotta stop. I mean, I, as, as much as it pains me to say this, even Kyle doesn't deserve this. So I think you need to tell him the truth. But I'm getting away with it. You need to tell him the truth. Ready to go? Yep. Bridget? Don't you have something to say to Kyle? <sighs> um, Kyle, let's talk. What's up? I went on a date with Parker Jarvis. Parker? You did? Yes, but it wasn't serious at all. I'll break up with you. What? Yeah, I see where this is going, and I want credit for the breakup, so I break up with you first. <laughs> Later, Bob H. <laughs> see, doesn't the truth just feel better? What's for dinner? Vegetarian meatloaf with polenta. Mmm. Can I have a hot pocket? <laughs> No. Hi, Care Bear. Okay. Hypothetically, if a girl has a really good date with a boy and then the boy doesn't call her for more than two whole days, there's something wrong, right? Well, maybe Jason hasn't called because he doesn't want to seem too eager. Who said I was talking about Jason? God, Dad. I'm just saying that there could be many reasons why a hypothetical guy wouldn't call. I mean, after your mom and I went out for the first time, I waited a week before calling her. How come? I didn't want her to know I was interested. Yeah, but one morning when I went out to get the paper, I caught him kissing my car. <laughs> but I didn't call. <laughs> hey, Beach, how was your day? Awful. Everybody was talking about how I got dumped by Kyle. A man told Sarah, told Sabrina, told Aaron. It was totally humiliating. Then, when Parker found out I got dumped by a movie usher, he broke up with me, too. Now I'm like, the biggest loser in the entire school. I hope you're happy, because it's all your fault. <laughs> okay, I'm a bad person. Point taken. Now, can we have a nice, quiet family dinner, Carrie? Stop staring at the phone. <laughs> so, what's new with my little family? Well, no one loves your daughters. Mom! That is it. Upstairs, no dinner. Oh, man. Oh. And we were having vegetarian meatloaf and polenta. <laughs> the guys are the worst. Not Kyle. Here we are inside the mall. Here we are outside the mall. Where was this one? The mall? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Our mall. <laughs> Bridget, what do you do when you go out with a guy and you have a really good time and then he doesn't call? I don't know, does that happen to people? I, you know, I mean, I thought Jason and I had a really good time. Maybe it's me, maybe he hates me. Okay, start at the beginning. Okay, well, he's... Yeah, I'm bored, let's get to the good stuff. <laughs> did he make a move? No. Did he try and kiss you? No. Did he hug you real tight? No. Carrie, are you sure you had a date? Bridget! Okay, did you even hold hands? Kind of. I mean, couldn't get a seatbelt on, so, and his mom said she wouldn't leave until the dinging stopped, so I reached over to help him put his seatbelt on, and I kind of touched his hand. Oh, God. No wonder he's blowing you off. Why? What did I do wrong? Maybe you shouldn't have buckled him up in front of his mommy. <laughs> Maybe I should call. No, no, no. You never call the guy. It's, it's needy. It's pathetic. Wouldn't it be more honest? Honest? Dad told me to be honest, and look where it got me. Sitting home alone on a Friday night. I know. God, Colonel Dad probably freaked Jason out. God, he sucks. I know. Dad made me break up with the only guy I'll ever love, just because he was a movie usher. Go, go, go. Theater three. Thanks for coming to Montrose Theaters. Enjoy the movie. Hi, hi, hi. Hey. <laughs> Papa H. Kyle, mind if we have a little chat? Sure. What's up? Kyle, you know I've always liked you, right? <laughs> Nuh-uh. 
<laughs> well, I have. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about Bridget. She's been really upset ever since you broke up with her. Uh, yeah, I've been upset too. You know, the only reason I got this job was so I could take her to nicer places. Really? Well, that's really nice. She should never have lied to you. You know she's really a good person, but I may have said a few things that might have pushed her in the wrong direction. <laughs> What are you getting at? Well, I thought that if you still liked her, maybe you could, I don't know. Mr. Hennessy, are you asking me to get back together with your daughter? Yes. Oh. Are you begging me? What are you watching? My social life being flushed down the toilet. Is it any good? <laughs> Kyle, it's so good to see you. Kyle, what are you doing here? I need to talk to you. I'll give you kids some privacy. Oh, more? Bridget and Kyle, do you have anything to do with this? I don't want to brag, but uh, it depends on how it turns out. Listen, uh, I'm sorry about the whole breakup thing. You know, it was stupid to worry about my reputation, but I miss you. I miss you too. Really? So do you want to get back together? Yes. <laughs> okay, now I break up with you. Just to clear, I get credit this time. Oh, you definitely had something to do with this. Bridget, I thought you wanted to get back together with Kyle. Oh, and I will, just as soon as I get my reputation back. First I'll call Aaron, who will call Sarah, then she'll call Sabrina, then she'll call Amanda, who will tell the entire world Amanda, she's got the biggest mouth. It should take about a week. Well, that's terrible. You can't just use Kyle like that. So, next Saturday? Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, what just happened? Well, I guess you fixed it, so, uh, congratulations. Has anyone called for me? Oh. You know that guy Jason you went on a date with? Yeah? Yeah, he didn't call. You mind? That's not nice, Rory. Hey, if you gave me a brother, we wouldn't have this problem. Get upstairs. Fair? It's not fair. You know, Jason hasn't called, and he even stopped saying hi at school. It's all weird now. You know, how come I'm the nice one, and I get blown off? Bridget's mean to Kyle, and he comes crawling back. I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> Look, Carrie, maybe... You know what? I've been through all the maybes. Maybe I'm just not what a guy wants. Maybe I should be more like Bridget and dress like a lap dancer. <laughs> maybe I'm just not sexy enough. Look, Carrie, you are plenty... Forget that. <laughs> let's, let's talk about what's important. And it's not your clothes, it's what's underneath. I mean... <laughs> no, See, this is why I think my kids should wait before they date. We don't have to worry about it, because I don't ever want to go on a date again. All righty, then. <laughs> Dinner in an hour. All guys are jerks. You really liked this guy, didn't you? Honey, not all guys are jerks. The truth is, and here's the painful part, sometimes there are good guys like Jason, but it's just not meant to be. I know. So don't give up on all guys. Don't cheat all the others who are gonna find you beautiful and talented and amazing. Okay. Okay? Amazing, huh? Truly. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yes. Carrie, Jason's on the phone. Really? No. <laughs> Hey, honey, you look a little undressed for family movie night. It's just a little extra punishment for a certain movie usher. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about Kyle, right? No. I want to see Go, Go, Go again. What was it, Rory? The timeless emotions, the witty banter? I liked it when the car flipped over, but he didn't spill his Coke. <laughs> yeah, me too. That was cool. Didn't we just have family movie night? No, Carrie, that doesn't count. In order for it to be family movie night, the family has to actually see a movie. Jason. Colonel. That is. Mrs. Tennessee. Hi. 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 You said that. Right. Um, so what have you been up to? Oh, I've been really busy, so if he tried to call, I didn't get it. No, I know you didn't call. I just... I don't know why, because I had a really nice time. Me too. Why didn't you say hi at school, then? Because I, I was, was waiting, waiting for you to, to say, say hi, hi first. first. <laughs> And I would have called you, but my brother told me not to. My sister told me not to call you. We have so much in common. I don't know. I was, I was all embarrassed because I hate having my mom drive us. I mean, that house coat. Ugh. But if you just wait three months, I'll have my driver's license. Um, there's a yogurt stand in the food court. My mom wouldn't have to drive us. Yo, Dad, don't you have a thumb? What's wrong with this? I, I just thought that way. 
Well, we lost Carrie. Four out of five isn't bad, right? Yo, Bridge! Oh, come on. Kyle, why aren't you taking the tickets? I got a new job. I'm selling snowboards at Bare Naked Board and Skate. No, really? Let's take me shopping. Well, I would, but uh, I thought we were still broken up. For another 24 hours. Oh, yeah. Here's, here's a thought. You could say the whole thing was mutual. I'll say it if she'll say it. I'll say it if he'll say it. Well, are you really going to say it? Are you? Oh, for God's sake, I now pronounce you mutual. <laughs> That's so funny. You? What? For a guy who doesn't want his daughters to date, you've been a regular little matchmaker. You're right. I guess I like seeing him happy, even if it has to be with boys. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Our movie's sold out. All that's left is... Go, go, go. Oh. A brand new According to Jim is next on ABC's Tuesday Night Comedy Extravaganza. I guess you're wondering how that kid ended up in the rug. Look at him. Easy on the eyes, isn't he? You'll hear about this. Maybe at school. Or maybe a friend will eye on you. Or maybe you'd like to get the real facts. The real scoop. The whole enchilada. He was just spying on his sisters. So what? Personally, I think they're jealous of him. But that's a story for another day. Ironic, isn't it? He always wanted to stay up all night. I guess he got more than he bargained for.